Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image.com. As you know, I was just discussing the XT100, and I had the XT20 out playing with it here because um, I was I was thinking about how much. Well, I love the XT20, uh, and the XT100 looks to be a great offering. We went over it; has a lot of the same specs of this XT20, but there are two major points that I discussed just briefly in the last video when we discussed the announcement and how excited I was about seeing the XT100 uh, that I want you to be aware of. First of all, the XT20 is a little brother to the XT2, gives you 90, 95% of the goodness of the XT2 at a much better price point, it's very good value, but it does have an X-Trans sensor. These are APS-C 24 megapixel X trans sensors. That's that magic Fuji technology in there, that honeycomb technology some people refer to it as, uh, where it just delivers a lot of goodness in, in those sensors is what people love the X series. Something to be aware of with the X-T100 is it does not have an X trans sensor. So it doesn't have the same sensor as the X-T20. It's got a downgraded sensor, if you will. Still a very good sensor, still 24 megapixels, just not an X trans. So just be aware I think the XT100 is going to be a great offering. I think it's going to sell well. Be aware if you're buying that that you, to, to realize that you're not getting the X-Trans sensor. That's one of the advantages of stepping up to the XT20 or into the XT2 or the X-Pro2. The other thing I want to uh, mention or point out, I covered it just briefly, that the 4K in the XT100 is uh, only 15 frames per second. And this to me is quite significant, more significant actually um, than the sensor, the point that the sensor isn't, uh, isn't an extra sensor. The 4K 15 frames per second makes it almost unusable. I'm curious to actually get the camera in my hands and try it, but 15 frames per second, some people don't even like shooting 24 frames per second and 15, um, I'm curious to see what that actually looks like shooting some video. I think it's too slow. I think it... I think it allowed Fuji, I think it was probably a good marketing decision because you can honestly say it's a 4K camera. But if you want to get into true, real, good 4K, you got to step into the X-T20 or above um, because 15 frames per second, I think that's kind of crippled 4K. I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. What do you think about the 4K 15 frames per second offering? Um, do you feel it's crippled? Would that prevent you from buying the camera? the X-T100. Um, would you step then into the X-T20 here? Do you think that it was a good decision of Fuji's? The other thing is it's possible maybe Fuji's waiting to see how it sells and if that is too much of a negative. Because Fuji often, uh, like other manufacturers like Panasonic for instance, will open up more features in a later firmware update. Is it possible or maybe it will be possible that we could see at least 24 frames per second in 4K on the X-T100 in a firmware update. And I don't know if that's something they're just planning to bring us or maybe, like I said, they're waiting to see how it's received and if it's got too much negative feedback at only 15 frames per second, maybe then they'll say, okay, well, we're, we're issuing a firmware update. We're going to give you 24. Do you guys think that's possible? Would, would that change whether or not you would buy the camera? I think for me it would. I think that makes a much more usable camera, much more desirable camera. Uh, in fact, if we could get a firmware update to give us 4K 24 frames per second, the X-T100 might, might be um, one of my top recommended best value cameras in the entire Fuji lineup, maybe superseding the X-T20. Although I love the 20, but I love that flip out very angle screen on the X-T100. So what do you guys think? Do you think this was just a marketing decision? Do you think it was more pricing to get a camera out at this price point than they had to drop the internal computer tech so it couldn't handle more frames per second? Uh, do you think we might see it in a firmware update? How important is it to you? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. The uh, the 4K at 15 frames per second and the X-Trans sensor too. I'm curious to see what you guys think of that. Um, looking forward to seeing your comments. Let's have a discussion on it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.